Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a three month reading for you. So month one, month two, and month three, be, you know, whenever you watch it. So this is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This, these are in the upright, these are in the upright. I'm gonna, this is gonna be more of a, uh, you know, the cards are gonna be delivered in the upright position for this reading. So we are just going to see what comes up for Aries. What do we have for Aries month one? Month number one. Month number two. What do we have for Aries for month number two? And month number three. Month number three. Aries month number three. Whoops. <laughs> Aries. What do we have for Aries? Month number one. Month number one. Month number two. This could be October, November, December, when it, depending on whenever you watch this. Month number three for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Month number three. Aries. What do we have for Aries? Month number one. Month number one. <laughs> I'm just so used to flipping. Month number one. Month number two. Month number two for Aries. And month number three for Aries. Month number three. Month number three. We need an overall energy for the next three months for Aries, please. An overall energy. I'm just so used to flipping, like I said. Six of Pentacles. So this is receiving something. So this is receiving something. Um, after a loss, though, because it did come out reversed. So there is some sort of rejection that brings you in something, okay? That's what this is. I think that you are going to be pleasantly surprised, okay? In the next three months, you are going to be pleasantly surprised by something. You may feel like this is a big loss, but it's not. It's not. It's a gain. You're going to gain something, Aries. Over the next three months, you're going to be gaining all right. Personal power. Yin. So you're going to be right in your power. Yin, I believe, is the feminine. It's the feminine or the more positive light. So something is happening. Something is happening that is very positive. This is the month one, or it could be October, depending on when you watch this. You are going to be right in your power. You're going to be vibrating at a very high level. Look at the vibrations coming off. I mean, very much in a high vibration in October. Um, really, really, really in your own power. Let's get these. Page of Pentacles. Ooh. We have the Emperor. Now, the Emperor came out reversed. It was reversed, but I'm going to flip it. But just so you know, I want you to know what was reversed. The Knight of Swords reversed. The Five of Cups reversed. 
the Two of Swords reversed, and the Two of Wands reversed. I'm not going to leave them reversed because I, I'm going to continue on the road that I have done for everybody else. You know, we're, we're doing, it doesn't really matter. I'm an intuitive. I'm an intuitive. So it really doesn't matter if they are upright or reversed. I'm an intuitive reader. So you guys have another opportunity being presented to you. You have been in a situation that was sad, a sad situation. I think that you were probably stuck in that situation for some time, but now you're seeing the truth of it or you've been enlightened in some way and you've put the brakes on that situation. You've put it put it to a halt. Now I just read those cards in reversed. Okay. I think that the decision has been made. You have made a very painful, stressful decision to focus on the future, not the past. I feel like it's out of your control, and you know that it's out of your control. I feel as though you may be still grieving over some sort of uh, situation that you were stuck in. Uh, but I think that you're coming out of that darkness, and you've, you've really, really, really been enlightened. I think a new door has opened for you. Um... And I think that you know it. And I think that you're starting on something new. And it's it's big. This is this is big. Um, I think that you have manifested a new opportunity. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be, be with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I think things are happening very fast. I think that um, there's progress being made very quickly. Uh, you've been in a state of denial or perhaps avoidance. But I think that this is a month of acceptance. It's a month of realizing, you know, whatever it was that you were grieving over ooh, wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth grieving over this because you got a bigger, better opportunity here. I think that you have, it's like you realize, you realize that there is something else. Um, I think that you guys have made a decision. I think a decision has been made. You may have made it, you know, very suddenly. It could have been a, a sudden decision. I'm done. I'm completely, completely, completely done. I'm never looking back. I'm never going back. That's what I feel like this is. And I feel like because you have made that decision, you're going to be receiving something. Okay? This is a this is a gift. You're receiving something um, that you can actually uh, bank on, you know? Um there definitely has been a grieving period, maybe even some regrets. You may have uh, been wallowing or in some sort of depressive state of mind. And it's like now you've you've woken up. I feel like you are definitely back in your power. It's like you've, and it's funny that these came out reversed. I think all of them came out reversed. But it's like, and then there's like a shift. There's like a shift of power. I'm taking my power back from this negative situation. I think that you have. I think that you guys have be, been dealing with an untrustworthy individual who may have used you. This person may have used you for who knows what reason, but they did. I think that you were being used by somebody. And I think that uh, this person has blocked their emotions towards you. This person wouldn't open up to you. And they may have been very flighty. They may have really hurt you. Um... You know, perhaps they used you just for money or they used you for stability or something. that They may have had a wandering eye. This person may have had a wandering eye. They may have lacked integrity. This person may have been untrustworthy. And it's like now you see who they really are. I think that because these, you know, it's like you've received the clarity about who this person is. And now you're taking your power back. You really, really, really are. So I feel like October is a month of acceptance. It's a month of moving in another direction. I think that you have made that decision. It's like the decision has been made. There's there's no looking back now. You're, there is no looking back. I think that... Um, somebody may have rushed, maybe rushing into your life. You didn't even see it coming. Somebody new, somebody new may have just like totally shown up in your life and, and you got this, this new opportunity to start over with this person. Um, and you may be shocked by it. You may be shocked because you've just suddenly made a decision to leave something else behind. But now you've got somebody else that has rushed in. If this person is, if you are the male, this person is very feminine. This person um, can is, is like uh, very different from you. But you feel a sense of familiarity with this person. Maybe you know this person. Maybe this person is somebody that you knew when you were young. 
okay? Um, I feel as though you have definitely made a decision or you will be making a decision to just leave the past behind and focus on the future. Um, it's, you're definitely coming out of a dark period here. And it's like it's time for you to receive. You deserve love, right? You deserve it. You deserve love. You deserve reciprocation. You deserve somebody who is going to take care of you, you know, somebody that is going to love you. And I feel like that's what you're going to be receiving. You're going to be receiving some tender loving care. And, it, and, I don't, and I just feel that. Like I said, I'm an intuitive. So we are going to start right here and we're going to read this card. Um, personal power. Take responsibility for your actions. Reclaim your power. Emotions are powerful and can cause us to feel alone, overwhelmed, and anxious if we haven't had the opportunity to express our situation or experiences. A symbol of polarity. And that's interesting. Okay. Positive and negative. And that's funny. It really is. The Siberian tiger asks us to address our personal power issues. The tiger has chosen to visit you today to encourage you to express, to express your deepest feelings. Embracing your darkest personal experience and transform it into positive thoughts and actions. And that is what this is too. Okay, so it's, it's, it's like basically going from a negative situation to a positive situation in October. Once we decide if a partic particular experience is good or bad, we then make a conscious decision about what to do next. Identifying our method of emotional expression. We either speak up, become neutral, or we don't speak at all. Not speaking up, however, can leave us feeling helpless, placing us in a victim mindset. Tigers are predators and understand the need for secrecy, perseverance, and patience before committing to their prey. Standing strong and powerful is essential to their survival. In some way, experiencing darkness helps us build strength and resilience. Right now, the tiger asks you to relinquish, relinquish your victimhood and take responsibility for your own thoughts and feelings. Embrace your hardships with love and acceptance. Use them as a source for personal motivation. Take responsibility for your own actions and the part you have played in your current circumstances. By doing so, you will begin to reclaim your personal power. Now is the time to encourage a healthier environment by releasing toxic relationships in your life. Negative attitudes and emotional vampires are manipulating your soul's freedom. Remove yourself from the game. Cut those negative cords and be free. So you will be cutting cords in October. You're going to This is like a time of freedom. It is. It's like you're, you're let, like I said before this, before I even read this, you guys are letting go of a negative situation. It's like the decision has been made and now you're going to receive something very positive. This is like your reward, okay? This is a reward for finding that strength within you, that, that real, real strength, okay? To love yourself, to protect yourself, to do what's right for you. You know, it's really coming out of a dark period, Aries. Things are about to really get better for you. If, and if you are single and you are watching this, somebody is going to, it's like flying into your life. I, that's what I see. It's like, boom, here they are. It's like they're, they're coming to take you away, you know, whatever that is. So let's read this yin. A new partner, perhaps. You may have a new partner that has just shown up, like instantly, like out of the blue, out of nowhere. So, yin, the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the, uh, the art of conscious allowing. This is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you. 
ready to accept it when it appears. Yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear to be shaped. Okay, you must make space for miracles to appear. That's the key words here. And that's what I see. I see you letting go, dropping something, really putting, making a decision to not go back. I'm not. I'm not. And because you make space, here it is. Be the shaped, not the shaper. And you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. Let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. Ha <laughs> Isn't I mean, I, I started this out with being presently surprised. You are going to be pleasantly surprised in October. It's like something arrives out of the blue and <sighs> takes you out of a negative situation. So let's move on to month number two. Month number one looks good. There's, a, there's something, you know, happening very, very fast in month number one. And you are going to feel very, very powerful at this time. It's like a barrier is being removed. Month number two. Month number two. Illusion never-ending story so I uh, I recorded month number two and uh, apparently it didn't something happened and it got all messed up so uh, here we are we're gonna do it over month number two so this is like uh, this is really like a do-over okay it really is it makes complete sense it makes complete sense that that happened um, so you got to be careful during month two. You, what I let me lay out these cards, and then we will go from there. Um, you got to be careful because it feels as though you're you're gonna have somebody that is jealous. Some that was right there, that was right there. You're gonna have somebody that was um, jealous. That is jealous of your happiness because you're gonna be absolutely positively glowing. You are going to be be on cloud nine. So in month number two or November, I see as though, you know, you're, you're going to, this one came out reversed. This one was the only one that came out reversed, but you know, I told you I was going to do these positive. So you guys are, were made a conscious change to let something go and you're glowing, you're glowing, you're, you're absolutely glowing. You're on cloud nine. Um, there's glowing here and glowing here. It's like you're happy. You're celebrating life. You're doing really good. You're, 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 you're receiving a lot of tender, loving care. You may be dealing with an earth sign. I noticed that a couple times. This is brown and green, very earth energy. So you may be feeling very grounded or you're grounded or you got an earth sign that has come into your life that is really taking really, really, really good care of you. Um, you are definitely going to be, uh, happy. Okay. This is a, this is a very happy month where you are just really in your power. As we saw in October, you're, you're, you're just shining. You're shining very, very bright. Everybody can see it. It's like you're vibrating on such a high level and you're very, very happy in November. Look at how happy this guy is. You're happy, 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 and everybody can see how happy you are. Then you got this jealous person over here. So you do have somebody that is jealous, and they're going to pull you, they're going to try to pull you back down. Could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. So it's a fire or a air sign. They may try to use your child against you, okay, to get you to come back down. 
So just just beware. Just beware. I feel like November is a month of socializing, out having fun. You, if you are completely single, somebody could come. Somebody you could meet somebody that could end up being your wife or vice versa. You know what I mean? Um, either way, you're going to be really, really glowing. I, glowing is huge in November. Happy, 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 happy. Like, where did all this happiness come from? And I think that uh, because you're receiving all this attention and all this abundance, somebody, I think somebody from your past is going to try to suck you back in so you're gonna and this is a test okay you're gonna be tested I think that you're gonna have a test that you're gonna need to pass here do you want to go back to that or not I feel as though you've gone through some sort of rebirth you've been doing a lot of healing and it's like somebody wants to take away that healing that you have done um, if you have been struggling financially, I think it's the end of struggle, okay? Money is coming, okay? If you, if, if you, you know, have been feeling like your business isn't really taking off or you're not getting a payout, you're going to get a payout. You, some of you could even be getting an inheritance, okay? I don't know if it's inheritance, but it's like money. Or, or you could be coming together with somebody who has money, okay? Somebody that, this is somebody, both of these cards are cards of value, so, um, both of these people have a lot of, uh, worth, okay? So, you know, I feel like you could be dealing with somebody that has a, or it's you, this is somebody that knows their worth or is worth a lot, okay? This person is worth a lot and they know it and they should know it. This is somebody who is proud of the hard work that they have done, so... I really feel that you it's like you're you're out and you're celebrating your life and I feel like you you're selling you're celebrating your life with somebody new because this is new and this is new. This is new and so it's like new. It's somebody new here. Somebody new in November is making you extremely happy. But you got this jealous individual from your past. This is like an ex. I think it's an ex. Um that kind of wants to steal your energy. It's like they just don't want you to be happy. And they may use the child <clears throat> to keep you down, you know, and, and try to manipulate you in some way. Um, so just beware. Beware in November, okay? Beware of whatever. Somebody is going to come to you to cause a conflict. It, like, this is, this is somebody who sticks their nose in, okay? Some, you got somebody here that is watching you, they're jealous of your happiness, they see that you're glowing, they see that you're happy, and they stick their nose into your business to basically to take away that glow. It's like you're, you know, people, it's like a psychic vampire, okay? They try to steal your glow. So, you know, you're going to have some sort of test that you need to pass that says, you know what, I'm happy, and you can't have my glow. You know, you can't have my happiness, or go find your own happiness, you know, whatever. Um, some of you are becoming independent, you know, this month, or you did already, and you're just doing very, very, very well. This is self-sufficiency, um, really vibrating on a very high level in November at a point where, you know, everybody can see your, your, your aura. They can see your shine. You are shining. You are the star of the show. Okay. I also feel like you are going to be put on a pedestal. Okay, this guy, he's, he's put on a pedestal. If you're dealing with uh, this empress here, could be a, a Taurus or a Libra, could be anybody else. But I feel strong earth. I see earth here. So I feel like there is a, a strong earth energy. And this person, if you, especially if you are the male, I feel like you are going to be put right on a pedestal by this person. This person, I mean, the empress puts her king on a pedestal. He comes first. He does. So, somebody's going to be put on a pedestal. And they're going to and you're going to be like, "Wow. Wow, 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 wow." If you are the female, you you may have a a male, a masculine, even if you're in a same-sex relationship, feminine masculine, you may have a masculine that comes in that makes you very happy. This is a happy union, a happy relationship. So in November, you are happy, you are glowing, you are on cloud nine, you got some jealous individual who is like, oh yeah, you're shining, you're happy? I don't think so. So you're going to have to beware. Beware of what this person is, is, is uh, 
filling you up with. They're going to say something that is a complete lie. They are. I'm not going to read this because I already read it and, and it didn't uh, it didn't record. And it was recording, so it's very odd. Anyway, um, so there's some sort of illusion. Somebody is going to fill you up with a lie. Okay? And you're going to be overwhelmed with it. You're going to be overwhelmed with what they're telling you. What they're probably going to do is make something up. This is a liar. They're going to make something up about the person that you are, that is making you happy or about their, about the child, if you have a child with this person or about, they're going to make something up to, uh, fill you up with a pile of shit to get you to go back, to get you to, to not be so happy. So you're going to have to be really careful. I am going to read this one because it was so prominent. Um, Never-ending story. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. There is a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. It is the old story whose refrain is that you cannot do this, must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come, come crumbling down. Today, know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. Your, the voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs to be seen as a victim. Love that, lo love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story. And the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part small and vulnerable and easily soothed not only are you, are you going to have an actual person and they're going to get to you somebody is going to get to you they're going to say something to you that is going to make you second guess your happy situation do not let them steal it from you please Sometimes your heart enter, enters into a contract with another, <clears throat> excuse me. Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for that, but for other more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are great challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however, Right now you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyway. So, you know, this, you will be presented with a test. You are glowing. You are on cloud nine. You are very, very, very happy. You have an opportunity to move forward with somebody new here. I see that. But there is somebody from the past that is, you know, causing you to not, you know, to reconsider it. Keep moving forward. This is a gift. You are receiving a gift. This is a miracle. It's a blessing. Don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. This person, whoever it is, they want to keep you in that victim mentality. They want to keep control over you. Do not let, do not let them. Do not let them. This is a month of happiness, socializing, celebrating, having fun. Uh... Healing, healing from this person that overwhelmed you, that burdened you, that held you down, that kept you in that victim mentality, that kept you stuck. You know, it's healing. It's a month of healing. And you are healing and you're glowing. And because you're doing, you will, everybody gets tested. This is a test. 
Keep going. Do not let this person steal your happiness. This is a rebirth. This is a blessing. This is a miracle. You have been presented with a miracle. Now you now this person is going to want to uh basically bring you back down to their level, to their vibration. Do not let them in November. It's a very happy month for you, but you will be tested with somebody, okay? I'm not going to keep going. Be careful. Be careful. You're doing well. You're glowing. And what happens? Darkness doesn't like to see the darkness doesn't like the light. You will be the light. You will be in a light mood. You will be happy. And you got a dark individual who's going to be like, Shh. Be careful. Do not let them. Month number three. Month number three. Intuition. Beautiful. Highly intuitive this month. Truth be told. Truth be told. You already know the truth. Month number three, you will already know the truth. Look at that. The owl is the highest intuitive wisdom. This is major change. You you already know in December you are going to know something. You're going to be given some sort of intuitive guidance in December for sure. Highly intuitive. Highest intuitive wisdom. Nine of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Lovers. Knight of Wands. Oh, we have an extra card here. So what are we going to do with this one? Queen of Pentacles. So you are dealing probably with an earth sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign. could be dealing with another fire sign. could be dealing with a Gemini. could be dealing with somebody that is... Um, <laughs> month number three. This one was reversed. This one was reversed. This one was reversed. So your gut, your gut. This is a card of of knowing, of thinking, and this is when when the nine of swords comes out reversed. It's your deep, your gut is telling you something. Your gut is telling you that somebody doesn't have good intentions, and I can see the gut. I can. Your gut is really going to be telling you. They're going to be telling you that something, somebody doesn't have good intentions. It could, now you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice, perhaps between an earth sign and a fire sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth, or an earth sign in a Gemini, or a fire sign in a Gemini. But this one must be reversed. It's like, you, and there's a choice here. So in December, you have to make that choice. It's like you do. You're going to be presented with a choice. It's like you have a solid opportunity with somebody. This is your test. Your real, actual. This is my test card. So this is your. You're really being tested. You have received a gift. You've re, you've manifested something. Your gut knows. Your gut is telling you that one of these people doesn't have good intentions. You got somebody that is 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 rushing to basically sweep you off your feet. This is your hero, okay? You got somebody here that um may be presenting themselves as the hero. This person is very um impulsive. This person has recognized that you are focused on something else. They have still in December. They have really recognized that you are no longer invested in them. And I think that they have regrets. They are feeling guilty, whoever this person is. You got somebody that is that is feeling, you know, very worried that they have lost you. And now they are coming with some sort of solid offer, something stable. It's like now it's like, okay, I'm ready to settle down. I, but it's, 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 this person is come and go. This person is coming. And you have a choice. You have a choice between two people. There's no doubt here. In December, you have to, you're going to be presented with a decision. 
you know, I think that you got somebody that you may have not have made progress with in the past. This person is coming forward very quickly because they see that you have another opportunity. They, and they're not going to let up. So it starts in November and by December, they're like, what, why don't you want me now? Why don't you want me now? Let go of that other person. Why don't you want me now? That, that's what I see. This person, this person want, doesn't want you to go with the other person. They're sad. They're discontent. They're not happy. They missed the opportunity. They missed the freaking boat. Now you got a solid offer here. Now you got somebody who's solid. And this person all of a sudden wants to be the freaking hero. So Aries, I feel as though... You know, you're going to have some thinking in December. I think that you may be losing sleep over this choice. You definitely have two different people here, two suitors. Okay, I think it's an earth sign and a fire sign. One of them is not going to stick around. This person comes and goes. You know, they, they don't stick around. This person is very flighty. They, they act impulsively. When something looks good, they, they jump. They go after it. They don't stick around. This person sticks around. This person is slow, this person is methodical, this person is solid, routine oriented, oriented, predictable. This person, you you know what to expect from this person. This person, you don't know what to expect. You never know what to expect. So I feel like you are going to be making a decision, okay? This could be the end of a contract. You may be just saying, you know what? No, I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I want. I don't want this anymore. This is. This is ending. This was reversed. This was reversed. So that's like the end of a contract. We're not compatible. I'm moving forward. So somebody is. 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 I think we have somebody here that is choosing to move forward. They're letting go of somebody that isn't loyal. You know, some because this one was reversed. It feels like they, they were dealing with somebody who wasn't loyal. And it's like, you weren't loyal to me. Why, why, why would I want to have a contract with you when you're not even loyal to me? You know, you go out and have sex with other people. So that's what I feel like this is. Um... Yeah, that's not what I want. There's, there's, I'm dissatisfied. So somebody is really dissatisfied um, and unhappy that they can't have their cake and eat it too. I think that you have somebody in your energy, in your vicinity that doesn't really, they're going to, they really want you to, they don't want to let you go now. Now they don't want to let you go. They're dissatisfied that you're not interested in them anymore. And they're good. And they, but they weren't loyal to you. I'm just going to make it. This was reversed. Whoever you, and this one was reversed. I just, I feel like I really need to keep, I don't know why. There we go. I think it was like that. That's how it was. It's like this person doesn't, they weren't loyal. They weren't loyal. They didn't offer you anything solid. And now they don't want the contract to end because you're you're you've moved forward. So now that it's like they're in a hurry to connect with you, they're in a hurry to pull you back. But I don't. I think that I feel as though you are going to be like, no, 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 no. I don't. I don't want this anymore. I don't want this anymore. Yeah, I don't want to be trapped in this scenario. I don't want to be stuck here. I don't want to be back in prison. I don't want to go back to this prison. So I feel like you 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 are are probably going to have to make a, another decision, okay? December. To come really complete this once in a while. I've learned my lesson. No, thank you. This is over. It's done. I think that you are moving forward. I think that you are moving forward, but you still got this person that carried over from November that wasn't loyal to you. This person wanted to have their cake and eat it too. It's like, now they want your attention. And you're like, why? Why would I want to give you my attention when you went and had sex with somebody? That's what I feel like. That's what you, have. you have sex with other people. Now this person wants to be the hero, and you're like, no, sorry, and it's over, it's done, I'm done. This is phase, I've learned my lesson, this is lesson learned, 
It's finally over. This is the end of a journey. It's the end of a chapter. It's done. Done, 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 done. This is the completion of all completions. So I feel like in December, you are absolutely, it's done. It's over. Completely over. You're severing ties with this person. You are absolutely severing ties with the person that wasn't loyal to you in December. It's like, no. I think that you are completely leaving it behind you. And I think that you are giving your time and energy to somebody else. And this person is going to get the no. It's like you're going to say no. That's what I hear. It's like no, no. And I think that your gut tells you this person doesn't have good intentions and it leads the way. It, 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 it tells you that, you know, you don't, you get the message. You, you hear it. You hear it from within. No, no. I don't trust you. I'll never trust you again. This is over. It's done. I'm giving my self to somebody else now. So I think that we have the end of a contract here. We have the end of a, it could be a karmic contract. Maybe it was a soulmate contract. The end of it, you know, because this person wasn't loyal. I think that you guys are it's finally over. It's finally over. It's finally, it's final. It's final. That's, it's final. Truth be told. December. I think you're deciding to be practical. You have a new beginning here. You're not going back to that prison. You're not going back to that trap. You're not going to be stuck there. You're not going to fall for it. You're not going to fall for that trap. You definitely have somebody that is rushing in. This person, all of a sudden, they want to be your hero. And it's like, no way. No way. It's like you found your confidence now. Now you know. In in November, you you were with you've you've come into contact with somebody who you now you know what love is. Now you know what it feels like. It's like hell no, I ain't going back to that. Hell no. Truth told. Truth be told. Fourteen. Honesty. Accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing. And then there is a truth, subjective, according to the philosophy of the adherent or believer. This is not a time to, for debate about wh which is true or which... <laughs> this is messed up. This is not a time for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to pro proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender to what is peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed and spirit will answer with miracles. People tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in heartfelt open conversation. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and experience up to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back. Speak your truth. So yeah, I think that you will be speaking your truth to this person, whoever this person is. I feel like somebody is about to end a, a phase. 
they have learned their lesson. That is a major completion. It's the end of one journey with that world card. You are severing the ties. And I think that you are being intuitively guided to make this decision to do so. Your intuition is leading the way. It's time for a change. And I think that you're accepting it. There's a new opportunity here. I think that you're starting a new life with somebody else. Your overall energy for three months is you are receiving something after you have to, remember this came out reversed, you have to reject the overall energy for the next three months. This is reject to receive. So you are receiving a blessing. That is what the Empress is. But you will have to reject something that isn't going to be easy to reject. Good luck.